Hello, welcome to Short Obsess Classes. Here in the uh, this video, I am going to cover some of the properties of estimation. So, in my previous video, I have already covered the concept of the concept of inference and also estimation and also the concept of biasness and finally I have also covered the concept of minimum variance So now blue. So in blue we have the term unbiasedness means expected value of t should be equal to theta. We have the term linear which means the estimator must be linear in sample observation and it should be also minimum in variance so this four consists the concept of blue for example sample mean x bar is blue of population mean mu So after blue, we are going to cover the concept of accuracy, which has two parts. One is the bias and second part is precision. I have already covered the concept of bias. Now by precision, we mean an estimator which indicates closeness among possible values of the estimator. So this is what we mean by precision. Now in the first diagram we have to uh, explore the concept of precision and bias in detail. So in the first diagram as we can see the if center is the target, if center is is the target, then the estimator are far from the center and also they are far from each other. So here the bias is high and the precision is low. In the second figure, though there are some values of the estimator which who are in the center, so the bias are relatively low but the precision is also low because they are far from each other. Here though the precision is high as they are close to each other but the bias is very high as they are far away from the center. from center and in the fourth case both the bias is low and the precision is high as they are close to each other and they are close to center close to center so this one is the most desirable most desirable one
so after discussing about the accuracy the biasness and precision now here i am solving one sum for you guys uh, so the question is let t1 and t2 are two statistics with expectation ex uh, uh, expectation of t1 equals to theta 1 plus theta 2 and expectation of t2 equal to theta 1 minus theta 2 so find the unbiased estimator of theta 1 and theta 2 so how to proceed the sum so we have expectation of t1 equals to theta 1 plus theta 2 and expectation of t2 equals to theta 1 minus theta 2 therefore if we add these two equations that is 1 plus 2 then we have 2 theta 1 equals to expectation of t1 plus expectation of t2 and therefore we can write it as expectation of t1 plus t2 or or theta 1 equals to this or theta 1 equals to expectation of t1 plus t2 by 2 remember always try to go to the form like expectation of t equals to theta so here t1 plus t2 by 2 is the unbiased estimator of theta 1 next for theta 2 if we subtract equation 1 and 2 then so we have expectation of t1 equals to theta 1 plus theta 2 this is our equation 1 this is our equation 2 so we are subtracting it basically so basically we have expectation of t1 minus expectation of t2 then theta can theta 1 cancels out so we have theta 2 so 2 theta 2 equals to expectation of t1 minus t2 and theta 2 equals to expectation of t1 minus t2 by 2 so t1 minus t2 by 2 is the unbiased estimator of theta 2 okay so after the first sum the next sum that i am going to solve for you guys is this so this is one of the very important proof so if x1 x2 xn be a simple random uh, sample drawn from a normal population where the normal population has its mean equal to theta and variance equals to 1 then show that this is an unbiased estimator of theta square so how to proceed it so here uh, we have x1 x2 to xn uh, ra simple random sample drawn from normal population so if xy x1 to xn are iid which is uh, identically <coughs> independently distributed it is iid and 
if they are following normal distribution with n mu n sigma square suppose we are supposing this so with mu n sigma square so we are supposing this then in general we can write xi where i represent 1 to n follows normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma square. Now if we make a summation where i running from 1 to n divided by n follows normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma square by n. So this is known as this is a property and we use that. So this part, this is basically x bar, that is the mean. So that follows normal distribution. So x bar follows normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma square by n. But for our sum, x bar follows normal distribution with variance not mu but theta and this is 1 by n because here sigma square equals to 1 and mu equals to theta. So x bar follows normal distribution with mu theta and variance sigma square by n. So this is actually standardization the method is known as standardization of variable. Now, expectation of x bar equals to theta and variation of x bar equals to 1 by n. Now, let us make the formula or write the formula of variance, which is for x bar, it is x bar square minus e x bar, this whole square. So, this is expectation of x bar square and minus expectation of x bar whole square. So this part is nothing but the square of mean. So what is mean? The mean is theta. So the square of mean is theta square. Now if we side change, so we get theta square equals to expectation of x bar square minus variance of x. So from this we get theta square equals to expectation of x bar square minus 1 by n. So rearranging it we get expectation of x bar square 1 by n. So we have proved it. So theta square the unbiased estimator of theta square is x bar square minus 1 by n. So we have proved it.